Oh man, the Outer Worlds Spaces Choice Edition, fellas, for PlayStation 5 has been announced. And this bad boy is coming through on March the 7th, 2023. And Outer Worlds, to be honest with you guys, was one of my most favorite games that I played back in the day. But moving down over here, I'm going to show you guys a bit of information about this. And most importantly, the new updates. And of course, they're calling this the Spaces Choice Edition. I'll leave a link at the comment below for you guys to read this. But yeah, basically, there are a couple of updates that really enhance the gameplay experience on the new gen consoles. But scrolling down over here, you can see some really beautiful imagery. And one of those things, most importantly, is the resolution of the game. But moving down here, we could see going beyond visual enhancements. So we are able to update to 4K, guys. 4K, 60 FPS graphics, enhanced volume lighting, improved particle systems, and enhance the environments with increased asset density. So we'll be getting some really gorgeous imagery. We also raised the bar in several additional ways. So we made the combat and companion AI smarter, improved the open world sensation through better depth of field, and by reworking existing vistas, updating very weather conditions and reworking character models and animations so over here guys we could see this is looking beautiful man honestly with y'all i'm keen to see how this bad boy will run on the pc and touch with these visual improvements also come to the pc as well because honestly this is looking so damn beautiful oh my goodness man it doesn't stop there because we got ourselves some more awesome features so this also includes exciting new features to the dual sense wireless controller adaptive triggers and haptics one thing i love about the ps5 guys are those damn triggers and those haptics feel so surreal so when employing range weapons players will appreciate different trigger effects depending on the type so for a weapon like the flamethrower the player will sense linear pressure that is so cool so when firing an automatic weapon trigger kickback will generate a pulse like effect for each round firing that is also cool and for single shot weapons such as a sniper or a shotgun the trigger pressure effect will mimic the sensation of squeezing a trigger until the pie fires and the resistance lessens honestly guys that is pretty sick man very innovative stuff will this really entice you to get this edition of the outer worlds i would love to experience this but most importantly as you know these all these awesome trigger features are exclusive to the ps5 i wish we got something cooler for the lovely pc over here it says enhancing a legacy so if the improvements uh we have already described were not enough to justify this edition we thought this space choice edition would make even more sense if it included the base games dlc so we're getting ourselves dlc as well guys it's called the peril of gorgon and murder of Enidos. That is pretty awesome, guys. So OVS says, so we did not, that, so now the experience is even richer. On a side note, we know that several spaces out there enjoyed the fact that this was an approachable experience, not too short, but not too long. So as you guys know, this DLC, I reckon it was a decent time. I think I beat this within around six to seven hours, which is not too bad. So this is short, both DLCs do not extend the main story. They exist on this side, offering a fresh narrative arc to enjoy if you want to really dive deeper into this game but let me know in the comments below what do you guys think of this really awesome out of worlds spacer choice edition i think it's really awesome guys but the bottom of the yeah, make sure you read this if you already own the outer worlds base game and it's a sort and it's associated dlc pair of gorgon and murder on eridos from playstation 4 you'll be able to upgrade to the outer world spacer choice edition on playstation 5 for a reduced price so in the us or in the uk rather this is only five pounds so expect to pay around 10 bucks in america australia we're looking around 15 australian dollars so over here it says to enable the upgrade purchasing option you must own the following so the outer worlds base game the outer worlds pearl of gogong and the outer worlds murder and erida so yeah you're gonna have those bad boys to get this really awesome upgrade honestly i think that's a bit disappointing i do wish that at least if we had just the game on playstation 4 we could just update you know and upgrade easy but yeah there's a bit of a caveat there but let me know in the comments below do you guys think it's worth upgrading this game to the new gen consoles would i be upgrading to the new gen consoles honestly i probably would i really enjoy this game and i'm kind of keen to see all the updated images but we are the loot gamer thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you later deuces